And so we were completely surrounded by land. We couldn't see the ocean at this stage. And I noticed a big uh, spout, a big blow on the horizon. And I called it out to my crewmates, um, you know, dolphin. But uh, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, that's not a dolphin. That was huge. It was like two or three metres high. A bit further up, some big black creature popped out of the mud, you know, out of the murk, because the water is incredibly murky. And uh, we were in just stone. What the hell was that? You know, <laughs> it was like a Loch Ness monster kind of thing. I knew they were humpbacks because I've done a lot of humpback research in the past and but I could not convince myself I was actually looking at a whale so far up a muddy tropical river it was full of crocodiles I was completely blown away. The ones that came closer to our yacht they were at least 10 meters long perhaps longer um, we did see some very large crocodiles uh, close to the mangroves on the edges of the rivers. Uh, we saw a lot of dolphins in there too, and I did notice crocodiles stalking dolphins, so they're certainly out there hunting. Um, but the whales are so large, it would be a very, very courageous crocodile to try and take a bite out of a whale. Um, the big question in my mind is, what happens at night? What happens when they want to rest and sleep and take it easy? knowing that they're flanked by these big crocodiles who are, who are waiting for that moment to strike. We could certainly um, hypothesise that they've come in on a high tide, um, curiosity maybe, maybe for food. They've gone up the river, you know, and the tide's gone out, so they found themselves stranded in, a, in this little deep section of river and they're too scared to cross that, that shallow sandbars to get back out to the sea. Um, we would hope that they will find their way back out to sea again, but uh, you don't really know what's going to happen in this situation. <laughs>